Now to our magical Harry Potter exclusive. So much excitement for the new story. And ABC's Juju Chang has all the details. We begin at the ending of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Together. It's 18 years since Voldemort's death, and our hero is sending his sons off to Hogwarts. Potter heads everywhere, dying to know what happens next. I don't know, sir. Clearly, Hermione knows, but she's not going to tell us. So we hounded J.K. Rowling's longtime U.S. editor to get the secret scoop. But the only way to travel for a Harry Potter story? Magically. Time to disapparate. Who exactly is the cursed child? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Arthur A. Levine is the muggle responsible for bringing one of the most successful book franchises to America, including the latest story, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. The biggest difference is that this is a script. So it's really all in the dialogue and the stage directions. In a popular London stage play soon to be released in script form, Harry has a day job, hunting down dark wizards for the Ministry of Magic. And yet, is he having a midlife crisis? Is there some danger looming? You know, you can only imagine. <laughs> so can you give me the secret ending? No. Can you give me the surprise plot twist? No. Does Voldemort return? You'd make an excellent spy. <laughs> Levine gave me a tour of some of Scholastic's Harry Potter artifacts. So that is one big trunk. <laughs> this yeah, trunk carried a first signed copy of the sixth book to America. In what way is this story true to its roots? It's really about the question of how do you be a true friend? How do you be a good parent? You know, these are larger things that everyone can relate to and you don't really have to be a Harry Potter fan. For Good Morning America, Juju Chang, ABC News, New York. I'm in. I'm in. It's going to be so good. And the script for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is available this Sunday.